Today, we are talking about the signs that your marriage may potentially be over. Hey guys, my name is Danny, I'm your life and relationship coach. And as I mentioned, we are talking about the specific signs to be looking for if you are wondering whether the marriage is over or not. So first and foremost, if you clicked on this video, I empathize with you. I understand how difficult your situation is right now. You are probably feeling stuck. You have no idea um, what to even start looking for. You just know that you are not happy. You are not content in your marriage and you either want to find a way to fix it or you want to get out. And it can seem like the impossible feat, right? Because for you, you have tried everything that you possibly can to try to make the marriage work. And at this point, you just kind of feel like throwing your hands up in the air, but you want to be 100% sure that the marriage is over, right? So what are some of the signs that you should be looking for? So today, what I actually wanted to base these signs off of is one of my favorite psychologists of all time. His name is John Gottman, and he is a psychologist that specializes in um, divorce predictions and, and marriage patterns. And he coined a, a term when it comes to understanding the signs that a marriage is over, and it's called the four horsemen of the marriage, right? And the first horseman in this situation, or the first sign, is criticism. And basically what criticism is, right? So there, there's, there's constructive criticism and then there is just straight criticism. And criticism is when you are basically trying to break down your partner's character. If it was constructive, if it was positive feedback or criticism, it would be something along the lines of, hey, you know, I think you're doing an incredible job with this, but can I offer you my opinion or my suggestions on this? I think you can probably do this a little bit better and it will help you out, right? Straight criticism is, I think that dress looks hideous on you, right? You look overweight. You are not as fit as you used to be. Um, you know, you are stupid. Whatever the comments may be, if they are attacking your character directly, if they are making you feel less than, if they are breaking you down, that is criticism. And criticism is one of the first signs that a marriage is nearing its end or may potentially already be over, right? Because there's almost this sense of, of dissatisfaction, disrespect. Um, you don't feel like your partner looks at you the same that they used to, you know? Um, the second one is contempt. And contempt is one of the most difficult things to come back from once you've kind of crossed into that territory, right? So contempt is really just your partner feeling like they are um, morally above you that you are less than them, that they are superior to you, and therefore, there is no need to respect you. There is no need to listen to what you have to say. There is no need to try to invest any effort or energy into the relationship because you're less than them and they are better than you. If that is the case, then that is a very clear indication or sign that the marriage has definitely come to an end. And I would recommend taking a step back and really considering what the next steps are at that point. The third one is defensiveness, right? Now, this one is tricky because defensive, defensiveness by itself would not necessarily be a sign or an indication that the marriage is ending, right? We all have a tendency of getting defensive. We all have an ego. We all have things that we are trying to protect, insecurities, traumas, um, past history that we may not necessarily want to talk about or process, right? Maybe it's just personality. We are a little bit headstrong or we feel like we are right in something. So if you are the type of individual that stands your ground, right? Is a little bit stubborn, is a little bit hard-headed, or maybe your partner is that way. There is going to be chances for there to be defensiveness, but that doesn't mean the marriage is over. I think defensiveness in this case has to be coupled with these other signs in order for it to be a clear indication that the marriage is ending or that it has come to an end. So again, defensiveness is your unwillingness or your partner's unwillingness to take any kind of 
opinions, criticism, recommendations, anything like that, right? Because the immediate reaction is to go on the attack and to maybe criticize you or to make you feel like your your opinions don't really mean anything or that you're stupid or that you you shouldn't be telling them what to do because you have to fix your own issues. That immediate response, again, I think coupled with everything else that we're talking about today and the other signs is definitely something that you should take into consideration when you are contemplating whether you should walk away from the marriage or not. And the last one is stonewalling. Stonewalling is when you have reached a point, when your partner has reached a point where there is just no conflict resolution. There is no conversation. Um, there's no response when you speak to them. You try to work through issues and they are just dead silent. They don't really give you the time of day. Maybe they decide to walk away from the conversation altogether and don't come back and try to resolve the issue. Stonewalling basically comes, comes at a point where emotionally you are completely disconnected and you do not have the energy anymore to invest into trying to fix, fix the issues in the marriage. So again, just to reiterate, the four primary signs that the marriage is ending or may already be over, the first one being criticism, the second one being contempt, the third one being defensiveness, and the fourth one being stonewalling. If you like this video, if you relate to this video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. Um, make sure you leave your comments. I try to read as many of them as possible. Um, I also try to respond to as many as possible um, as well. If you feel like I may have missed something, if you feel like you've been through this before and you you can relate to this story, I would love to hear from you. Um, maybe you feel like you just need a little bit more information, right? You need more detail. You can visit us at www.happilycommitted.com where we have a multitude of different articles and blogs related to this subject and many other subjects as well. Um, if you just need some extra support, and you feel like your situation is very specific, very particular, and you need somebody to kind of bounce ideas off of and maybe gain a different perspective, I would be more than happy to support you through that. And you could book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with either myself or any of the other amazing coaches that we have on the team. Again, my name is Danny. I'm your life and relationship coach. I hope you're staying happy and healthy, and I'll see you soon.